Welcome to another episode of Car Savant. What are we doing today? Well, as you can see, we received some carbon fiber pieces from APR Performance. See what they are. So welcome to another episode of Car Savant. And we are looking at the engine bay on our project 2024 Type R. And APR makes a set of cooling plates in carbon fiber uh, that cover the center portion and cover each side portion. So uh, thanks to Peter, the guys at APR, uh, for uh, producing such a good kit. Let's get it opened up and let's get it installed on the car and see how it looks. All right, so here is the center piece. And as you can see, beautiful carbon fiber. The quality looks great as with all the APR products. So there's the center carbon fiber piece. All right, so if you set this APR piece right down on the center, it's pretty apparent exactly how it's mounted. So we'll remove those OEM clips. There's two on this side and there's two on this side as well. Uh, for the side pieces, this kit actually comes with uh, APR includes some plastic uh, clips for the sides, but honestly, I am actually going to use OEM clips because I like the quality of OEM clips better, and these look like they will get destroyed if I try to remove them. So we'll make one little minor adjustment on that. All right, so we got all four of those clips out. And it really helps to use either a piece like this or a small flathead screwdriver to at least get them loose. And then you can use some pliers to, to get them out. But just be careful. It's a painted surface around those. And you don't really want to mess anything up. So let's get the center one on. So we have the driver's side set mostly in place. And right here and right there, we had to remove two more of these factory clips uh, for it to sit down there. Uh, so it's going to attach with these two factory clips. Um, we're going to put another clip in right there once it's lined up. And then we're going to put another clip in right there. The problem we're running into that I'm seeing is, so we have the PRL intake on here. And it's looking like we're going to have to do a little bit of trimming on this piece right here. And there's really no need for this piece to go down like that, but... If you have the PRL intake, you're going to have to do a little bit of a modification right there on that side. A little bit annoying on this end uh, that that wouldn't be at least compatible with a pretty common intake. But uh, let's get the Dremel out and let's get this piece right here cut off. All right, so I carefully made a cut with a Dremel, with a cutoff wheel, to make the piece fit around the PRL intake. As you can kind of see, it was very subtle. Made it look like OEM. Gives still a little bit of flexibility, uh, but it should work now. So as you can see, make sure you line everything up you know, with the corresponding holes on both sides. There's another one. And then on the driver's side, remember there's one back here too. Just make sure that that's all lined up and let's uh, get this fully done. All right, so here we have it installed. Now the pieces look absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, we got everything clipped in. Now first, just take a look at the overall appearance of the pieces. You do have to put the center piece on second, uh, as in make sure you have the two side pieces on first. I'm not in love with the way it fits with the PRL intake. I know that uh, the setup was designed for an OEM intake, so I do get that. So, But just bear in mind, if you have another type of aftermarket intake that you may have to do some modification as you see uh, what we had to do right there which you really can't tell so a couple install notes and then I'll get into some more details this front piece it appears that you're supposed to reuse the OEM clips they it's very difficult to get them to push down they will push down but very difficult so I'm not real pleased with that but we did reuse the OEM clips and then APR includes some aftermarket clips for 
a few places that are you know just a little bit more depth than the OEM piece, so we got that in. One thing I did not agree with, well, two things, really. Uh, you would expect for close to $1,000 on these pieces that you could get some decent instructions. Uh, however, I only received instructions for the side pieces, not that they're that difficult to install, but it would have been nicer to have some little, a little bit more clear direction uh, included with these, and I'll show you here in just a second. So here's basically what you receive with the parts. You get a few uh, little catalog books, uh, a couple stickers. These are the only instructions I received, uh, which only pertain to the side pieces. For some reason, I did not receive instructions for the center piece. Uh, you got some details there. Uh, they include a product guide showing some of the other parts that they have uh, for the FL5, which is kind of handy. And then a return and warranty policy. Uh, so back to the instructions here, like I said, these are the only reference, the two side pieces, uh, one of which I do not agree with at all. Uh, they want you to take a drill bit, an M8 drill bit, and drill out the on both sides the area that's the closest to the cowl area uh, to install one of their provided clips. Um, I don't see any reason at all to drill into a brand new car for pieces like this. So uh, what I did is I utilized some of my own clips that simply just clip right in. So if you don't have one of these sets, it's, it's basically a universal clip set of different sizes. Uh, I recommend you pick it up. I think there are plenty available on Amazon and other places for less than 20 bucks. But basically what I utilized was this clip right here, two piece clip. And that's what I used, for example, on this clip right here. Absolutely no need to drill into the car just because of a clip. Get a clip that fits. APR should have included a clip that fits for these. So that's one thing that uh, really don't like about this is that should have been uh, designed differently uh, or different correct clips should have been included. So. In conclusion, what do I think about these pieces? Again, they look beautiful. There's no mistaking that. They look gorgeous. However, the instructions should be better and they should include the correct clips. For example, this one right here. I utilized my own clip as well. Um, whoever made that decision, I do not agree with. You know, Put the correct clips in there. Do not require drilling. If you buy these, do not drill into your car. There's absolutely no need for it. And really, it also should have included clips that fit a little bit better for the centerpiece uh, as well. So those are my complaints. Again, if you have an aftermarket intake, keep that in mind as well. There might be some minor modification. But all in all, they really do look good. Um, if you can get them installed with your intake uh, and if you can you know, make sure that everything can clip in correctly. So again, thanks for watching. We're gonna have a lot more how-to videos like this to come uh, on this car and other cars. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you appreciate our content, please give us a like, please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and we will see you again next time. Take care and have a great day. See ya.